everybody um, it's so great to see everybody showing up and standing together in unity of course safely um, so thank you to everybody who was able to come out today um, no matter what the consequences are as we stand and march today it's important to recognize and understand why why do we walk out why do we strike for our climate today we strike to draw attention to an issue a crisis that has been overlooked and pushed aside for way too long we strike because as youth, we don't have a voice where important decisions about our lives and our futures are made, unless we come together and get loud on our own terms. Some of you here today may be raising the future, teaching the future, and supporting the future. If you are like me, you are the future, and I, for one, will not let it be decided by people who think planting a few more trees is going to save our world. It will not. We have already reached a point of no return, have seen a mass extinction, and are on track to reach 1.5 degrees Celsius in the next five years. The only option we have to decrease the effects of this crisis is to make radical, sustainable, and equitable change throughout our communities and our governments. As we continue to stand here today, let's think about what it really means to strike for the climate and uproot the system. Climate activism is much more than promising sustainability without accountable action. It is desubsidizing the fossil fuel and meat and dairy industries, desegregating communities, food justice, abolishing the filibuster, dismantling capitalism, supporting climate refugees, and uplifting BIPOC, women, and LGBTQIA voices. Okay, first off, I'd just like to thank all the students for being here. Uh, teachers did try to scare us a little bit, but we're here and we're doing it, so thank you all. Uh, thank you, Maggie, and the rest of USL for help just doing this. It's amazing. I love this, and it's like so, so, so empowering and an amazing feeling. Don't you feel that? Yeah! yeah. And it's just, it's just really amazing that we're all here and we're all together and just have this community feeling. I love it. We have to use this and we have to keep, keep pushing our local governments and our national governments for climate justice. We, as USL, have already helped Langley declare a climate emergency and are now taking steps to stop the climate crisis. So, yeah. <laughs> Now it's time to push our county to do the same and all the other cities in our county and keep moving forward for climate justice everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Hello everyone, thank you for showing up because as you all know, this is a school walk. It's a school walkout, which is an act of civil disobedience, meaning like we could all get in trouble for this, which is why it means so much more to see people here, because you all understood the consequences of walking out of school and understood the consequences of ignoring the climate crisis are going to be way worse. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to why we, the students, have decided on a school walkout as our method of protest is because, to put it simply, civil disobedience works. Government inaction on climate change has gone on for far too long. This inaction is why people's homes are being destroyed by hurricanes and fires and why our air is getting more and more polluted. Inaction on the climate crisis could be the end of humanity. And we aren't even offered a seat at the table where the reality of the climate crisis is being ignored. Think about that for a second. When you go to criticize us for walking out of school or creating a disruption, remember that we don't have a lot of other options. 
We can't run for public office. We can't even vote. If we write legislation like the Green New Deal, it's not going to be taken seriously. If we make speeches, they'll just be ignored. If we follow all the rules that are meant to keep us in our place, nothing will happen. Radical mass actions like uproot the system are one of the few ways that we can put attention on this issue. We're trying to create a space where people have to reflect on the climate crisis, even if it's just for a moment. Because for too long, we've all been going with the flow as climate change turned into a climate crisis. So today, we're going to get, go against all of that. Because acting like everything is normal isn't going to get us anywhere. It's how we got into this whole mess in the first place. One, two,